What's up? Welcome back. And don't mind my hair, because I had a hat on and don't feel like wearing it now. Um, but yeah, anyways, welcome back to another video. Um, this one's gonna be a little different, just because I know everybody's kind of uh, waiting for some updates on uh, the motor, the motor build, and don't worry, it is coming along. I have actually a couple videos on deck that I want to release uh, week by week. So I wanted to be ahead um, by like two or three videos just to make sure I'm releasing them consecutively on every Sunday. And I've been just been doing a horrible job trying to keep up with this and recording it. It's weird. So as you probably saw in the title of the video, um, this is actually going to be a comparison between uh, a genuine Gretti um, oil sandwich adapter plate versus the knockoff version. Now, I originally purchased the Gretti one and not too long after I saw some uh, replica ones online, specifically eBay. You know, when you buy it on eBay, everybody thinks, you know, has a stigma that eBay parts are just garbage, which, I mean, it's a platform for all types of stores to sell and it's not always you know garbage even replica parts sometimes are nice um, for the price this is dealing with oil so i wanted to make sure to to especially with an rb to go with the original since i want to run an oil cooler and i also want to delete the uh, factory oil uh, sandwich plate because they have on the factory rb uh, and also the 20 and i believe in the 26 they have uh, water lines running through it, so I wanted to um, delete that since I'm just going to be running an oil cooler anyways. Um, yeah, so let me go into some detail between the differences. Um, so I'm going to show you a uh, side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, what I noticed, again, this isn't something where I can actually run them and see, you know, as far as flow rates and if the thermostat uh, opens up when it's supposed to um, This is really just the quality of the casting the quality of the reproduction model um, To see if it is safe to run it and It's something in the end where you're gonna have to kind of make that determination for yourself just because Like I said, I'm not installing the aftermarket version, uh, but yeah, so let's actually grab the parts here all right, so the first one I'm gonna show you is the aftermarket oil filter sandwich plate. And if you look, this one's made by G Plus. Again, this was purchased on eBay and roughly about 28 bucks. I mean, it's not horrible for the price and if anything, it should do the job. So uh, it does come with the universal uh, center nut. That's where you normally would uh, screw in your oil filter and you use this basically sandwich um, between your existing um, oil mount with the actual sandwich adapter. That's hence the reason they call it a uh, sandwich plate. So, um, now don't mind the fittings just because, I'm trying to do this with one hand here, because these guys, um, when I actually got the, the, uh, comparison between both, they actually feel almost identical as far as the fittings, so, I don't know if they use the actual Gretti ones, or same manufacturer, which I wouldn't be surprised if some of these things were the same manufacturer, but as far as... The overall design when I first got this I was kind of now uh, you can tell it was a reproduction because um, quality control is kind of lacking so you can see all these little rough sand marks looks like when they casted it there was probably because um, usually it'll be like split in half where you can kind of see where it was split right here so you'll have two portions of the mold and uh, you can see where they kind of grinded it off so and not very well now normally the the uh, Gretti version will have Grex on the side GREX and it looks like they removed that and put their G plus logo um, and like I said when, when you look at when you first look at this one I mean you wouldn't think this is a horrible sandwich plate or that it wouldn't work looks like they've uh, let's see if I can show you here 
you know they've uh, opened up where they're supposed to this right here so the ver this version because if you look there's four ports these two ports uh, as I mentioned earlier they will run to an oil cooler so you have two lines and then you can also have you can block the other ones off then you also have two ports for uh, the accessories so for example your factory oil uh, sensor or maybe an aftermarket oil pressure or oil um, temperature reading you can get those from these ports but mainly when you see this you'll actually it's the AN-10 uh, fittings that you're gonna have right here and that's what's gonna allow you to use this to go to a an oil cooler um, the reason why you have a thermostat here is because the design is to limit the actual flow of oil to your oil cooler until uh, norm, normal operating temperatures, which I'll have to look up and see what the uh, uh, what they have it listed on the Gretty website. So as far as this, I have no clue. Uh, you know if it opens up just like the way that Gretty's supposed to. So, um, but like I said, this is the uh, replica version. So let me put the genuine Gretty version side by side here. I'm gonna remove that. And right off the bat, um, it's going to be hard to pick this up on camera, um, but the overall end finished product of the genuine Gretty one, you're going to notice is a lot better. So the, if you look at the actual polish that they put, like the time they put to actually get the polish in, the... Um, one of the things I noticed the deburring Again, I don't know if you can see that There you go. You can see all the way at the end of the threads and even the threads themselves uh, the casting process Doesn't look as extensive and even the uh, deburring Did a pretty bad job of getting that all cleaned up and if you look at the Gretti version, it's just super clean um, The material feels a little bit heavier a little more solid but if you look there's no extra you know pieces of metal that need to be deburred the threads just look so much cleaner um, there's that Grex logo that I was talking about and you can even tell the quality of the thermostat that's inside um, it looks like just a, a better part Again, that's just visually looks better. It can't, I can't, you know, distinguish but whether it's actually better or not, which I'm gonna guess since it's a gritty part, you can only assume. Um, tolerances too, if you look at, uh, this is the, the way to remove and install the thermostat. There's a space in between the uh, actual housing and the cap. And if you look, at the tolerance on the Gretty one, it's literally, and again, that's something that might be hard to pick up on camera, but you'll notice right there, you can see everything's a lot tighter. Um, and like I said, it's not to the point where I say I would never run this, but because it is dealing with oil. It should be fine as far as the flow going to your oil filter. It's just that this right here, if I want to make sure my oil cooler is actually working. So this is kind of the part in question to make sure that it's actually functioning is a thermostat. Um, and last but not least is this actual center nut. The part that actually sandwiches is onto your motor will slide into here and it'll actually you know you'll do this onto your existing OEM oil filter fitting and the one that Gretti supplies uh, material wise is just a lot better and if you can you'll notice too the the actual nut fitting is a lot larger in diameter too as far as to fasten it on and just the material alone you can tell this is a lot heavier. You, you can definitely feel it's it's more solid. 
and even when it does fit inside the sandwich plate there's literally no play at all and again the thread the threads are super clean versus again very hard to pick this up on camera but they're not horrible they're not bad they're just not as good so and last but not least these guys like I mentioned these ones are almost the same as far as fitting wise um, you can't tell the difference really they feel the same they have it's the same aluminum uh, material for the fittings so on mine the way I'm gonna write Excuse me, the way I'm going to run this is I'm going to have two of these going to the actual oil um, cooler. And then if you notice, these guys right here, they have the dash 10 on here. And you can actually put the uh, 1 8 NPT, so which the factory oil um, sensor will use. And then, of course, I'm going to use my, for whether it's oil pressure or um, whether it's going to be for oil pressure or well temperature, I'm not sure yet, but I'll definitely run those as well. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that video, um, it gives you kind of uh, some light on whether you would be happy with the replica version and save uh, a bunch of money and kind of give you guys the pricing. The original Gretti uh, sandwich plate that I have uh, was about 120 bucks shipped. Um, I did get it online, I believe Real Street, they sell all genuine parts and um, the G Plus one was $28 shipped. So, Again, would I run it? I don't think I'd have any issues with it. Um, but again, due to the nature of my build, I wanted to go a little bit extra uh, in this particular part, um, which won't always be the case because, again, there's parts out there uh, that are replicas that sometimes it's not worth the extra, you know, three, four times the amount for what you're getting in terms of quality. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it shed some light for you guys to make your decision on your build. And like I said earlier in the video, um, I do have some videos already finished and I will be releasing them starting next Sunday. So the motor intake side, um, the sandwich plate adapter that is gonna be going on here soon, I'm gonna show the install for that. Um, I have my manifold, I have my turbo, and the car is literally waiting just just waiting I can't show you over here because that's where the motor is at um, I do have some stuff for the intercooler and I do have a bunch of old parts that I do need to sell but yeah soon this will be done and we will be driving it I got some uh, Gretti gauges I'm gonna be installing so I got a bunch of content um, not to mention the wheels that you see here still need to be completely redone so all that's coming soon. Again, I, I, I appreciate everybody that's watching. And um, if you do like these videos, help me out, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video next week, next Sunday. Later.